Hey guys, this is James for the Impossible Channel, and I want you to share this right now. This may be an Illuminati or a man made hurricane, and this may be on purpose. And I'm gonna show you why we think this is a motive for people to worry because they may be doing this they may be doing this to cause civil unrest okay the, uh, well let me show you why here in Brazil 32 hours ago the government confirmed the mass uh, escape of 40 and 40 170 uh, imprisoned people okay prisoners and uh, these guys, they just ran away. Nobody knows exactly what happened. You know, they, they got, the news are gonna say this and that happened. You know, and they, they recaptured. You know, they, they captured uh, 338 of them. Okay. Now, um, thing is that uh, a lot of them are still at large, and uh, they may be very, very dangerous uh, fugitives. Okay. So if we if we you know just unite if we gather this information what happened in Brazil like 32 hours ago and we you see, we take a look at this you make a link right Navy evacuates some personnel from Guantanamo Bay as Matthew News right so Hurricane Matthew was already a Category Four storm how did this happen so fast Janestine tracking this monster Janet Hi Neil we are going to be watching the storm through the weekend and into next week Hurricane Matthew was a Category Five overnight. The strongest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin in close to 10 years. And we are worried about Jamaica, as well as Haiti and Cuba and the East Coast as we get into next week. So there's the forecast path. It is a Category 4. It's weakened a little bit. We're expecting a trend of a little bit of weakening, but re-strengthening as it moves into the Bahamas. And as you can see, as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, not a lot of confidence in the forecast model. So if you live in Florida, all up and down the East Coast, you need to be paying very close attention and have your hurricane plan intact. The deal is we don't know what's going to happen until this storm starts to make its northward turn, but we are going to be dealing with a serious major hurricane. Again, concerns for Jamaica as well as Haiti and Cuba and Florida. You are in the crosshairs as far as the cone of uncertainty and the water temperatures here, Neil, very warm. So we are expecting a little bit of weakening and then strengthening again. What is steering the storm? We've got an area of low pressure across the Ohio Valley and an area of high pressure, depending on which one is more strong or stronger, that's what's going to steer this storm. But I can't stress enough, if you live along the East Coast, you really need to pay attention to the storm system as a lot of the forecast models have a lot of uncertainty. Back to you. Scary stuff. Janice, thank you very much. Janice Steen. Okay, so that's very, that's indeed right. scary stuff. So it's it's gonna hit, it may hit the Guantanamo Bay prison, you know it. So uh, this is not good. Powerful Hurricane Matthews first toward Jamaica, Haiti, and Cuba. Well, everybody, knows. let's take a look. At stores in Kingston, the capital of Jamaica, shoppers are piling their carts full of canned goods, crackers, and water. Lots of water. They're getting ready for the arrival of Hurricane Matthew. The storm weakened slightly on Saturday, but it's still the most powerful storm to churn through the Atlantic since Hurricane Felix in 2007. Winds are topping out at 145 miles an hour, making it a Category 4 storm, stronger than Hurricane Katrina, which devastated the U.S. Gulf Coast in 2005. Forecasters say Matthew could be the most powerful storm to cross Jamaica since they began keeping records. They expect Matthew to arrive at Jamaica's southern coast sometime Monday, putting it on course to hit Kingston, as well as Jamaica's only oil refinery. Motorists are lining up at gasoline stations to stock up on fuel. The Prime Minister's office said workers are preparing emergency shelters across the country. Disaster coordinators, police, and troops all are on standby. Well, this is this is probably a man-made hurricane, and the objective is to cause civil unrest. This is what we're saying, and it's probably true. The most powerful storm in a decade, you know, uh, you know, it's gonna hit it. It's gonna make a very, very, very ugly path, you know. So prepare if you are in the path of this hurricane. Get out, you know, get out now. Thank you very much for watching and share this I am now, you please. A view of um, from my home as to the, the the feeling of what is going on with the expectations of Mr. Matthews, the hurricane who is 
expected sometime tonight, which is Sunday, the 2nd of October.